So we had this gig. It's in the middle of nowhere. I don't even know who booked this thing. Well, then, I don't know, I was just like hanging out and then I got like pushed into a corner. So I'm yelling at a roadie about tuning my guitar wrong when I see Shores got pushed into a corner. So I'm sitting at the table having a beer and I look over and I see Baco and Shores doing something weird in the corner. Alright, so I see what's going on. I run over. I'm like, nobody puts Shores in the corner. Getting back into the corner, all I could smell was cheap perfume and a lot of smoke in the air and I, I was really confused. So well, I'm trying to deal with this. All of a sudden, out of the corner of my eye, I see trouble vomiting on my guitar. <laughs> All of a sudden, I smelt something foul. So I went outside to have a cigarette, and then an ambulance drove by. I'm not going to say there was something wrong with the food in that place, but let me tell you, something was wrong with the food in that place. There was something permeating in the air that night. I don't know what it was. There was a lot of commotion. I just smelled cheap perfume, and then I started smelling ass. Then I saw a guy look just like Bruce Dickinson, and I walked up to him as Randy Shaver. All of a sudden, I see Randy Shaver talking to Shores, so I walk up to talk to him, and all I hear is, I lost my virginity listening to you guys. Turns out, the gig was at a fudge packing factory. And then I got fucked in the ass. And then I got fucked in the ass. Then I took it in a pooper. Butt sex hurts. True story.